Hi guys, today I want to show you a great, it's not a tweak, but it's like it's similar to Jailbreak CDR. It's quite good. It's called EMU 4 iOS 7. It's EMU iOS 7 store you need to download. But before that, let me just show you I'm on, I'm running iOS 8. So if I go on software update, you can see iOS 8, so your software is up to date. And as you can see, I am running iOS 8 by the health icon and other stuff. And as you and as you can see, my phone is not jailbroken because there's no way to find CDR. So you can type in CDR. As you can see, CDR is no way to be found. Yeah. So before, if you want to get this EMU store, as you can see here, it's got quite a few apps, but it's game new apps every day. So that the first one I mean is good. I record. It's for iOS 7 to iOS 8, it works perfectly. And there's like file browser, like iPhone and iTransmission, there's a bit torrent. You can use loads of those stuff. But when you want to get it, you do have to go to, if you see, I'm on emu for iOS.net. Once you go in there, you, as you can see, this is the page. You can see it's, the, it's a beta because they're improving every day and well, it's not the full release for iOS 8. And you can see it's quite good. So before you ins before you install it, as you says here, you need to go back one day. So your device needs to be set back to one day. So before you do anything, go into settings. Once you're in settings, you scroll down, go into general. You scroll down to date and time. As you can see, mine is set back today. If I turn it on and turn it off, it will say 24. So you will have to set back one or two days. I would do it two days for like a definite guarantee. So then you go into back in Safari, hit install, hit install again. You come out, as you, as you see, you'll start downloading. I'm obviously reinstalling mine to um, show like for you lot. So it won't take that long. Once it's finished installing, you open up the application and then come out straight away, go into settings. And change your the date back to normal. And if you want to download, like, can you see? As you can see, I got iRecord and transmission. If you want to download any app, so if I want to download DOS Pad, it's a DOS emulator. I hit install. After install, it install again. As as you can see, it will install. But then it will download. But if it does not install, you, or it crashes, you probably need to go back into settings. Let this. As you can see, those pads not installing. See, it says retry. So I just hit done. Go back, go into settings. So I'll turn off set automatically. Go back two days. Come out. Go back. As you can see, it's trying to installing again. And it does. Installs perfectly. And then before you open it, set the date back. And then, as you can see, it works. It doesn't work. See? If it crashes like that, you just turn off, go back two days come out open it as you can see it's running perfectly so yeah and then once you come out you obviously change the date back to normal and it should be be able to run perfectly as you can see here so that's it really you can do a lot of things so and now I'm now using iRecord so you can do a lot of things Thanks for watching. This is Crazy Monkeys. Goodbye.